the guys sir good morning to all of you yes can you hear me hello guys can you hear me anyone can you please respond yeah. thank you nikhil yeah so we'll start our session yeah. thank you satish yes we'll start our session yes sir see previous classes till now what are discussed just only just basics what you discussed till now yes sir this is main documents i'm sharing with you yeah i think everyone got videos okay shared videos already recordings yeah for satish and others i should do some chat texting next one more person i have to share it i'll check it today i'll share it okay yes so what is big data the definition Yes, the definition starting class topic. This is definition. Next, one byte equal eight bits. One KB equal this is. So what we discuss this one here? Yes, big data is ranging from terabytes, gigabytes. These concepts are discussed here. Yes, what comes from big data? The examples we discussed: historical data, black box data, social media data, stock exchange data, power grid data, transport data, search engine data. These things. Okay, right? Yes, next step. Here are some examples. All this, these topics were discussed till now. That is, big data challenges. That is, data storage, data processing, very large files, high-end hardware. Their challenges, major challenges. Data storage, data processing, very large files, high-end hardware, backup and recovery, disaster management. These concepts we discussed in last two classes. Okay, right? Yeah. Here, traditional approach, traditional approach, end user, central system is not an application database. Right? Yes, one application, one database. Only one server, one application. That's it. Google approach, see HDFS. They are nothing but Hadoop. Hadoop, end user, centralized system is nothing but name node, right? What we discuss, master. Its name nodes. These are what all these slave nodes. Master and slave architecture. Every request goes to master. Okay, maybe data loading request or job submission request. Every request goes to that name node. Yes, name node is responsible to process that request. From that, all this see the hardware, community. This is right. This is okay. So this is first node. Next, next, next. Like this, all the computers. Multiple computers in plus right. This is there the slaves. So this is master and there the slaves. Okay, right? Yes. Right. Next. Yes, sir. Now, see. what is Hadoop? What are the features of Hadoop? Next. Yeah, these topics we should discuss today here. Okay. Yes, previous class. What is big data? Yes, last two sessions. What is big data? Next step. What are the big data challenges? Yes, what is the solution from the Hadoop we discussed? Yes, today we'll discuss about yes, what is Hadoop? What are the features of Hadoop? Right? Yes, Hadoop. Hadoop topic is Hadoop. Yes. First question is what is Hadoop? So what is Hadoop? What is Hadoop? This point already discussed. Yes, still we'll repeat one second here. Yes, what is Hadoop? Yes, anyone can you answer this? What is Hadoop? What is answer? What is Hadoop? Simple question. What is Hadoop? What is Hadoop? Yeah, right, right. Take you, you right, hundred percent. What is Hadoop? Hadoop is a framework. Yes, Hadoop is a framework. Hadoop is a Hadoop is a framework. RDBC framework, yes, to store, to store and process, to store and process big data, to store and process big data. RDBC framework, RDBC framework to store and process big data. RDBC framework to store and process big data. Fine, just it's a framework to store and process big data. Okay, right. Next year. In Hadoop, there are two modules, HDFS and MapReduce. 
Okay, HDFS and MapReduce here. So first two modules, two core modules, HDFS, second one MapReduce. Yes, MapReduce. Okay, so HDFS to store the data, MapReduce is to process the data. So take HDFS, yes, it's a file system. So this is file system, like a backend, file system to store data, to store big data. Big data, right? To store big data. Right, okay. So it can HDFS, just it's a file system to store big data. Next, MapReduce. MapReduce, yes, there is Java programs. MapReduce, Java programs. Yes, Hadoop was developed in Java. Complete Hadoop, it was developed in Java. It was developed in Java. Yes, MapReduce, there is Java programs. Java programs. MapReduce, there are Java programs to process, to process big data to process big data, right? This is, so this is Hadoop, code modules, okay? So once the setup is done, I guess we'll discuss one by one all the terms. First, we'll start with the HDFS, okay? Then map risk one by one, we'll discuss all the terms here, okay? Yes, next here, so what are the features of Hadoop here? Now features, let us see about features here. What are the features? So what are the features? Features of Hadoop here. What are the features of Hadoop? Okay, what are the features of Hadoop? First one. Yes. First one, massive storage. Massive storage. This is base main features of Hadoop. Massive storage. Yes, Hadoop able to store huge amount of data, big amount of data, terabytes of data, petabytes of data. Yes, lot of data. Right? Okay. Yes. In Hadoop cluster, yes, many number of nodes you can configure, right? How many nodes you can configure in Hadoop cluster? What's the maximum number of nodes that can be configured in Hadoop cluster? How many nodes you can configure? Anyone ping in chat box? How many nodes? Yes, 10,000 nodes. Yes, here maximum number of, maximum number of nodes. Okay, nodes that can be configured, that can be configured, configured in Hadoop cluster, Hadoop cluster. Okay, Hadoop cluster, right? Yes, node is nothing but computer, one computer. Node means one computer here, like our computers. Okay, like our computers, exactly here. So maximum, max number of nodes that can be configured in Hadoop cluster. Yes, in 1.x version, yes, in Hadoop, 1.x version, so this is 4,000 computers. Okay, next step. Hadoop 2.x version here. 2.x version here. Yes, 10,000 nodes you can configure. Right, okay. Yes, in a cluster, yes, 1.x version is 4,000. Second version of Hadoop is 10,000. 10,000 nodes you can configure, right? Okay. See, initially Hadoop, Hadoop cluster. Suppose Hadoop cluster initially configured to only 100 nodes. 100 nodes. Suppose 100 nodes are filled, 100 computers are filled. Yes, you can add some more computers without without affecting yes existing setup. So without affecting existing setup, we can add 10 more nodes. Next, load the data. Still data is there, 10 more nodes. Like this, continuously you can add it. Continuously. By adding continuously, you can store any amount of data. Okay. Yes, 4,000 computers, one data question. Second version is 10,000 computers. Okay, like this. How many clusters we can configure like this? How many clusters? Max number of clusters. Max number of clusters. Yes. Max number of clusters equal to how many clusters we can configure? Yes. How many clusters? No idea. Forget it. How many clusters? 17 clusters. 17. Yes. Max number of clusters that can be configured equal to 17. 17 clusters we can configure. Okay, right? So here each cluster, 10,000 computers, 17 clusters means 1,70,000 computers you can configure. Very big data center. So huge amount of storage, massive storage. Okay, here yeah, that solution already we discussed. Last two classes we discussed massive storage. How 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 Adobe is able to store yes huge amount of data that's already discussed. So massive storage, right? That already discussed. Okay, so here by adding nodes, simply by adding nodes. So once a cluster filled, suppose initially cluster configured with thousand computers, thousand computers get, suppose cluster filled, still data is there. Yes, loading data into cluster, right? Still data is there. Next, 10 more nodes, 
10 more nodes. You still data getting continuously can add the nodes. By adding nodes continuously here, yes, you can store any amount of data. So this is massive storage. All right. Yes, next. Yes, parallel processing, right? Parallel processing. Parallel processing. Next one is parallel processing. Next feature software is parallel processing. Right? Yes, same data processing by the multiple servers. Okay, right? Yes, see, see here. Yes, here multiple servers will process the data. Yes, in Hadoop, one file storing and multiple multiple servers in the Hadoop cluster. Okay, in Hadoop, yes, a file, a file, yes, a file, yes, a, yes, in Hadoop, yes, file, file breaking into multiple blocks, right? A file breaking, yes, breaking into, yes, multiple parts, multiple, breaking into multiple parts, multiple parts, on distributing and multiple nodes, right? Dis distributing, distributing on multiple nodes, right? Distributing on multiple nodes, multiple nodes, right? That means one file is on the multiple servers. So multiple servers will process single file. Suppose in case of traditional system, what happens here? Only one server has to process entire data. Yes, one file, only one system. In traditional systems, one file, only one system. So only one server has to process. But in Hadoop here, multiple servers. Yes, multiple, yes, multiple, yes, multiple servers. Multiple servers will process data. Multiple servers will process data parallel here. Multiple servers will process data parallelly. So data parallel, right? Yes, in parallel. Okay. So multiple servers will process data. Yes, process data in parallel, right? So you say parallel processing here. So because of parallel processing here, human huge amount of data also can be processed within a short time. Okay. Suppose, for example, here 100 GB data. Suppose if it is 100 GB data, yes, for example, 100 GB data, 100 GB data. Suppose if a traditional system, only one server has to process all the 100 GB data. In traditional systems, only one server has to process all the 100 GB data. But in come to Hadoop here, same 100 GB data storing and multiple servers. So around 20 servers, right? So 100 GB data processing by 20 servers. 20 servers will process. Reason here, out of 100 GB data here. So here 5 percent of total data. So 5 percent of total data. So 5 percent of total data, right? 5 percent of total data. That means 5 GB, 5 GB, right? 5 GB, 5 GB, 5 GB, like this. 20 computers. That's 100 GB data storing on 20 computers. Now 20 computers will process. First computer processing first 5 GB. Next computer next 5 GB. Next node next 5 GB. Next node next 5 GB. So parallel processing. It's a parallel processing. So 100 GB data processing parallel here. Yes, in case of traditional systems. In traditional system like Oracle database. In Oracle database, only one server has to process. In Oracle database, only one server has to process. MySQL database, only one server. So in traditional databases, in traditional databases here, only one server has to process. Only one server has to process entire data. So time taken it. But in Hadoop, they say concept of parallel processing here. Parallel processing. That means, yes, here 100 GB data storing and 20, 20 nodes. Yes, all 20 nodes processing parallel, right? That 100 GB data processing parallelly. So parallel processing. So within short time, we can finish processing, right? Okay, even huge amount of data is there. Within milliseconds, it can process. Within milliseconds, it can process. So this is parallel processing, right? Parallel processing. The one more features of this, right? Next, yes, other features. With Hadoop, yes, high-end hardware not required. High-end hardware, yes, high-end hardware not required here. High-end hardware not required. So it means economic rate. Yes, it's economic here. So high-end hardware not required. Not required. Okay. Yes, not required here. High-end hardware not required. High-end hardware not required. So what is high-end hardware? So yesterday's class when we discussed about this one here. High-end hardware. Suppose if you did a traditional system, in traditional system, what's a disk required here? Rate disk. Yes, in traditional system using rate disk. This is a rate disk. Okay, so rate disk. What is advantage of rate disk here? Rate disk, even disk cache, no loss of data. With rate disk, with rate disk, no loss of data, but rate disk is costly. 
Yes, Simpesa Fred is here. Suppose if you're using yes, community, yes, community hardware, community disk, community disk. Yes, with hardware, we can use community disk also, no problem here. Read disk, support disk file, no loss of data, we can recover it. But community disk means like our systems, in our computer, we are using community disk, right? This community disk, if it is cached, we can't recover it. Plus this data we can't recover. So once disk failed, you can't recover data. Data cannot be recovered. Okay. Yes, in traditional systems, compulsory read disk we have to use. Read disk we should use, correct? A recover class of data for data security purpose, we should use read disk. So read disk, this is 10 times costlier. A read disk is 10 times costlier. 10 times costlier than yes, costlier than this community disk, right? So read disk is 10 times costlier than community disk. Costlier, this is that costly, right? So in traditional systems here, server setup is costly. Server is costly here, more cost, more expensive. With traditional systems here, hardware is more expensive. When come to Hadoop here, Hadoop can use, Hadoop can use community disk, right? Hadoop, Hadoop can use, can use community disk. Hadoop can use community disk here. Community disk, right? Community disk can be used here. Okay. Yes, Hadoop can use community disk. Reason here, Hadoop, when Hadoop disk failed, no problem. Here may be doubt. So, but disk failed, what happens? No problem, no issue. Because in Hadoop, there's a concept of replication factor. Replica, replica. This is a concept of replica. Replication factor, right? Yes, replication factor. The default replication factor is three. Replication factor is three. That means for every data, it will maintain three copies. For every data, it will maintain three copies, right? Suppose one copy disk failed, no problem. Second copy is available. Okay. See, three copies not in the same disk. Three copies not in the same nodes. Multiple nodes in cluster. Different nodes. Suppose all three copies storing in one computer, no use, right? No use. So three copies on three different computers. Suppose any computer failed, no problem. Two more copies available. That's it. Backup copies available here. So we can use cheaper hardware, cheaper hardware. We can go for cheaper hardware here. So read disk is not necessary. So with the Hadoop, read disk is not necessary here. Cheaper hardware, just we can use cheaper hardware. Cheaper hardware you can use, no problem, no issue with this. Okay, right, next. So here, so that backup copies available, even any computer disk is failed here. We have two more copies. We can get from that, right? So this one more features of this, right? Yes, next. Yes, very large files, very large files. Yes, here, very large files. Yes, Hadoop can handle very large files here. Hadoop can handle very large files. Okay, one second. No, no, we can't. Okay, we can't decide. Hadoop admin can't decide where to store your data. Not Hadoop admin here, name notes. In name note, they say, Rack awareness thread, the thread will identify locations. Rack awareness thread, we'll see next. This is not a state to discuss about rack awareness thread. Rack awareness thread decides where to store your data. Yes, the rack awareness thread I'll explain. Okay, yes, it's a replication strategy. There's a replication strategy. That time I'll explain. We have separate topic on this. That time I'll explain very clearly. Okay, right? very large files. Yes, Hadoop can handle very large file also because yes, one file, file breaking into multiple parts. Yes, in Hadoop, file breaking into multiple parts, storing in multiple systems. Even generating very large file, no problem, it can handle. So because one file not required to store one system, one, suppose one file, one system means it fails, 100% fails. Suppose very large, suppose 100 GB file, one terabyte, one terabyte of data file here, one terabyte, file with one terabyte. Yes, so Windows Linux files. Yes, Linux files max is 65 GB. Yes, yesterday I showed you 65 GB. Yes, what's the maximum size of the file that can be generated in the Linux space? Maximum size of the file that can be generated on the Linux space is 65 GB. This is Linux space. On Linux space here, yes, 65 GB, right? So but data is one TV data file getting here, Linux files. But Hadoop won't fails. Reason, reason, one TV distributing anti multiple nodes in cluster. 
multiple computers one tv is storing on to multiple computers so that is breaking right by breaking this file here storing on multiple computers yes it can suppose 65 tv more than that it fails but one tv breaking into multiple multiple parts right suppose one tv divided by 20 so one tv divided yes one tv divided by 20 that means less number of data is yes, splitting data splitting right data splitting into multiple nodes okay that size will be reduced here yeah, that one tv data file or suppose 200 yes one tv data file is rare case here so for example 200 gb data file getting here 200 gb data file getting yes linux cannot store it yes in hadoop 200 gb divided by 20 nodes right but that means on each node only 10 gb 10 gb possible no problem that yes more than 60 gb is problem here but 10 gb okay no problem so what happens in hadoop that 200 gb breaking into multiple parts but it 20 nodes reason is here five percent is five percent is five percent of total rate right? that means on each node yes here 10 gb 10 gb 10 gb totally 20 nodes so five percent of 200 gb is 10 gb right? five percent of 200 gb five percent is of 200 gb right? that means how much is equal to 10 gb right? 10 gb 10 gb yes in how many nodes 20 nodes that's here 20 that's the calculation okay so even very large file getting so data generating with 200 gb data file this also can be handled okay because so file distributing onto multiple nodes so file storing and multiple nodes it can okay it can right but traditional system is not possible because traditional system one file only one computer cannot store multiple computers okay yes don't have the distributed concept yes how do you follow in dfs concept how to file this one dfs okay one second yes hadoop is having dfs means distributed file system one file dividing into multiple parts storing on multiple computers it's a dfs concept correct okay, right? so hadoop can handle very large files okay right? next yes hadoop takes care of backup yes hadoop takes care of backup yeah. so separately backup not required yes i already discussed yesterday topic only this is Hadoop takes care of backup. What is backup here? Replication factor, same. The replication strategy here, right? Replication factor. Yes, replication factor. Hadoop has the concept of replication factor, right? Yes, for every data, three copies. Yes, any data loss, any copy loss, no problem. Okay, two more copies finish. So backup. Hadoop automatically creating the backup copy. For every data, it creates three copies. Suppose if you're loading 100 GB data, if you're loading some 100 GB data here, it creates 300 GB data. Just yes, when loading 100 GB data here, it creates 300 GB data. That means three copies. Three copies, same file for three times. Three copies generating here. Three copies generates. Okay, right? So three copies, right? Suppose any one copy is lost, no problem. We have two more copies. So how do you take care of backup here? Right, okay? Yes, next step. Next here. Yes, next recovery. Suppose any node failed, Hadoop takes care of recovery here. So Hadoop next it takes care of takes care of recovery process. Takes care of recovery process. Recovery process. Suppose any any computer fails, that is recovering automatically here. Suppose first node failed. Okay. Yes, suppose there are three copies on computer one or node one. On node one this first copy first copy suppose on node 5 fifth node or sixth node this is second copy second copy right suppose on node 11 maybe third copy there are three copies right for every data three copies three copies right suppose this first node first copy node failed first copy node failed that case what happens here name node will give the instruction to second copy node to create replica of this, this data. Yes, yes, same copy all will correct. In a node six, same copy shall will. Now how do name node? Name node giving instruction to this second copy node to create to create replica 
on another note, maybe some other, maybe note 20, note 20 on this. Yes. Now, need node will give the instruction to this, this second copy node to create replica with some other nodes somewhere in the cluster. So, you can now copy next to copy X. So, that copy 4X. So, copy 1 destroyed already here because copy 1, loss of copy 1 because of that node, node is dead. Suppose that node is dead here, loss of that copy. Now, how many copies here? A second copy, third copy, fourth. That means three copies are right. This node is dead. Yes, even this node is dead. There are three copies. So here, Hadoop, yes, name notes. Yes, Hadoop name notes. Name notes. Make sure that, make sure that, make sure that, yes, always, always meeting replication of policy. Meeting replication of policy. Replication policy. Replication of policy, right? Yes, what is replication of policy here? Policy 3 right? Replication of fact is 3. So at any point of time, Hadoop will maintain three copies. Okay, right? One second. Yeah, we can change it. How to change, I'll explain. After Hadoop setup, I'll explain that. Okay, check. Yes, replication of fact, you can change it. So minimum one, default is three. Yes, default replication factor. The default replication factor. Yes, default is three. Defaults. Yes, default replication factor is three. Yes, next. Minimum replication factor. Minimum replication factor is one. Minimum replication factor is one. What is the maximum replication factor? It's a title. It's a title. So maximum is title. Up to five total copies you can maintain. Okay. Yes, we can we can we can define that. We can configure that. We can change it here. We can change the replication factor. Okay. Yes, in setups, I'll explain. In setups, I'll explain the topic. So how do takes care of recovery process, right? That's okay. Okay. Yes. So these are the features of Hadoop care. Okay, these are the features of this Hadoop care, right? Yes. Yes, same thing explain document also. Hadoop, what is Hadoop? Next, one more features with Hadoop care. One second. Seventh one, yes. Hadoop, we say, Hadoop. Hadoop is a open source framework. It's a open source. Open source framework. Open source framework. So what is open source? Any idea? What's the meaning of open source? Hadoop is an open source. Hadoop is an open source framework. What is open source? Any idea? Yeah, right. Yes, code can be customized, right? See here, there are two things, freeware and open source. Freeware open source. Freeware is different, open source different. Freeware different, open source different. Freeware means free of cost. Yes, can be used to get free of cost. Can we use that? Free of cost. Free of cost. But, but its features cannot be modified. Yes, that its features cannot be cannot be modified. We can't modify. Cannot be modified. Cannot be modified. Its features cannot be modified. For example, here, suppose we need CP set tool, get free of cost available. We can use it free of cost, but we can't modify its features. Ask this we have to use. Ask this. Next step. Suppose this is a putty tool. Yes, putty. This tool has this you have to use. You can have modify. It's a free of cost available. Free of cost all right. But when come to Hadoop here, Hadoop, yes, Hadoop is an open source. What is open source here? Yes, it can be downloaded including source codes. Okay. Yes, it is available. Yes, it is available. Yes, available. Available. Yes, free of cost, including source code. Including source code. Including source code. Including source code. Yes, you can download including source code. Yes, how to download? I'll show that. Including source code. Yes, how do? Yes, one second. Yes, software I will provide you. Yes, you no need of downloading software here. I will provide you all the software because there's a version compatibility problems. Version compatibility. 
okay that compatible versions are already ever with me so what are things we are working in our office same thing i'm providing for you that version compatibility probably issue getting so don't download on your own here i'll provide software yes even i'll show that yes sir um, yes apache apache mirrors <coughs> apache mirrors this is the location apache mirrors dot tds dot net here this is all the apache softwares apache softwares here is a hadoop hadoop yes in hadoop common go to common folder in common folder different kinds stable stable to rich stable versions current version current like this hadoop second version of hadoop third version of hadoop these things okay suppose for example here stable versions here three yes sir rich this source code yes here srs means source code is available without srs means tar file simply get the binary file this is so this we have to download for setup purpose you have to download this is okay yes uh, here this is recent version here generally no company using recent version because sir uh, we don't know whether it is success or not right so generally most of the companies will use previous versions so what was the version we are going to discuss yes parent directory here not 2.7 this is we are going to discuss yeah this is just we are working yes in our company we are using 2.7.2 same version yes i'll be explaining here this we are going to use for okay, correct yes here mac os anyways same no difference okay no difference in tar file mac or linux same tar file you can download it okay yes Yes, next. Yes, open source. Yes, that yes, R C. That yes, R C is nothing but yes, R C build, including source code. You can download it, including source codes. Okay, correct. How do we say open source framework? Yes, since it's a open source, we are up. basically how do from the Apache, Apache how do? Yes, even we are going to work with Apache how do works how do? Yes, I'm explaining Apache how do. Yes, in our company we are using Apache how do and Cloud Era both. we are using apache and cloud era yes both we are uh, we are going to discuss i'll explain both here cloud era and uh, apache both will be discussing right okay now here we are open source because of open source many companies many companies taken this source code they modify it release with different names so basically it's apache hadu yes apache hadu apache hadu which is open source this is open source open source okay apache all will be basically from the apache okay so open source it's a open source projects it's a open source projects yes apache all is a open source project that many companies taken that source code they modified release with different names called cloud cloud era hadu cloud era hadu yes called as cdh cloud era distribution for hadoop cloud era distribution of cdh means cloud era cloud era cloud era distribution for hadoop cdh that is called as cdh cloud era different cloud is different cloud is a storage okay yes cloud is a storage from the amazon that amazon providing cloud storage next google storage google cloud is available Amazon Cloud is available, Microsoft Cloud also available. Okay, in market different clouds available. Google Cloud is available, Amazon Cloud is available. Next step, yeah, this Microsoft Cloud different clouds are means storage. Cloud is using for the storage. Yes, I'll explain. Is a part of our syllabus here. Yes, Amazon Cloud I'll explain this here. In Amazon Cloud, how to configure a Hadoop? Hadoop will discuss. Okay. Yes, here storage, Linux storage you want or Windows storage you want. So whatever you want, that instance you can configure. How to configure? We'll discuss. In AWS, I'll explain that. Yes, we have separate topic in AWS. That time we'll discuss. Okay. Yes. So cloud era Hadoop. Right. Okay. Yes, Apache Hadoop. Basically, it's Apache Hadoop here. Okay. So because of this, sir, open source many companies taken that Hadoop here. Hello. 
different hurdles they have developed. Cloudera hurdles from the Cloudera company. It's the name of the company. Cloudera different. Cloud is different here. Cloudera is name of the company. Right? Okay. Yes. Next. Hotter works. Next one more here. Yes. Hotter works. Hotter works. This one more company name. Hotter works hurdle. Hotter works hurdle here. Next map or hurdle. Map or hurdle. So map or hurdle. Okay. So Mapper is a company. Yes, Mapper is a company. Yes, in Hyderabad, of these companies are available. Is there Mapper company here? Mapper Hadoop here. So Mapper, it's a company name here. Good company name. They have developed Hadoop here. That okay. Next, apart from this, yes, Yemen. Yes, this Amazon Hadoop here. Okay, Elastic Map Produce from the Amazon. This is this is from Amazon. This Amazon Hadoop here. Yeah, this from the Amazon. Yes, Amazon. This is so. This is from the Amazon, right? Yes, Amazon. How do this is? So this is from the Amazon. From Amazon here. Amazon they have their own how do here? EMR. EMR from yes EMR how do? EMR how do? From the Amazon here. Okay. EMR elastic map produce. Okay. Yes, in Amazon clouds. I'll be explaining this one here. EMR. Okay, already EMR setup is there in Amazon Cloud. Directly you can use setup here. Directly, but just directly can practice on this. But what I'm doing here, I'm making you setup in your system. So you see this. In my project here, we did this complete setup here. Now we did not use any Amazon Cloud and all this here. We have our own database, own data center. In that data center, we did everything set up. Yes, we did. From the scratch, we did everything else. For you guys also, I'll explain. From the scratch, how to build our Hadoop servers. Building Hadoop, every, everything point to point, I'll explain here. Suppose if you're practicing on Amazon EMR Hadoop here, may not be understanding what is happening background. Yes, in interest, everything, and they will be asking setups also. You should must have the knowledge of setup here. Okay. So for that reason, from this scratch, yes, I'll be explaining setups, including Hadoop setups, a complete setup here, right from this scratch, I'll explain. Yes, Hadoop setup and ecosystems, every setup I'll explain here. Okay, yes, here don't try to practice on EMR Hadoop, I'll explain. Yes, I'll, I'll explain, but try to avoid this EMR Hadoop, because here you can't understand what is happening back end here. Okay. Suppose on your own, if you set up this one here, you can understand what is happening back end. You can understand. So try to practice on your computer. So don't practice on yes, this yes, Amazon clouds. Yes, I will explain. I'll explain very clearly here how to set up there, how to practice there. So I'll explain it here. Just to practice, just only uh, may, maybe what, just one, one one week practice. Just just practice for one week. Okay, just you go for one week, one week practice, otherwise try to avoid it here, not necessary here. Go for your computer. Okay, right? Yeah. Fine. So cloud error hadoop, hot and works hadoop, map are hadoop, EMR hadoop. Yes, like this here. IBM also having this one hadoop. IBM hadoop. IBM hadoop. Yes, next day. Even Microsoft also having its own hadoop here. Microsoft. Microsoft has also having its own hadoop here. Microsoft hadoop here. Like there are different Hadoop shall be here, different Hadoop. So because Hadoop is an open source here, Hadoop is an open source. Because of open source here, many companies taken that Hadoop here, modified, released with different names. Okay. Yes, even VMware company also having its own Hadoop here. VMware company, VMware Hadoop. Yes, they have to have their own Hadoop here. Even Oracle Corporation also having their own Hadoop here. Okay. Yes, they have developed their own Hadoops. Right, okay, different companies, they have done their own audits here. Because of open source, because of open source, many companies taken that Hadoop here, modified, yes, using the different names. Out of all this, most popular, Cloudera, Hortonworks, and Apache. Apache Hadoop, Cloudera Hadoop here, Hortonworks. Basically, all are same. Only names different here. Okay, all functionalities and everything same, all Hadoops are similar. Only names different. That's it. Brand, just like the brand. There are distributions of Hadoop here. They're different here. Like the mobile. Mobile, different brands, right? Yes, like Samsung, Apple, Redmi, like these different mobiles, right? 
all are almost all provide services, right? Little bit features will be different here. Basically, everything all are same here. Okay. Yes. Yes, most of the time should be working on Apache Hadoop. Okay. Yeah, like, like Linux flavors, Linux and Linux flavors, Apache, Apache, yes, this Apache Hadoop, Cloud Hadoop, Hardenbox Hadoop, different Hadoop here because of its open source, right? Yes. So Hadoop is an open source framework. Yeah, these are the features of Hadoop here. So what is Hadoop? What is Hadoop? Hadoop is a framework to store and process big data. Okay, right? Yeah, there are two core models, HDFS and MapReduce. HDFS, file systems to store data here, to store big data. MapReduce, they are the Java programs to process big data, to process big data, right? What are the features of Hadoop here? First one, massive storage, right? Massive means huge amount of data can be stored here. Okay, that's all in last two and three days we are discussing same concepts here. Okay, right? Parallel processing. Parallel processing. Yes, multiple servers will process the data. Parallel processing. There are the features here. Massive storage, parallel processing here. Main Hadoop main features are these two things here. These are two main features. Massive storage and parallel processing. So even big data also can be processed within short time, right? Yes. Next. High end hardware not recovered with Hadoop here. Community disk, we can go for community disk. Right? Okay, so economic here this is. Yes, Hadoop maintenance economic here. It's not expensive. Okay, yes. So RAID disk is not necessary. Suppose if it is a traditional systems RAID disk, but Hadoop RAID disk is not necessary. Community disk, we can go with this disk, correct? Yes, simply can is this one here. So cheaper hardware can. So we can reduce the expenditure. That okay. Next, very large file. Hadoop can handle very large file. Reason file breaking into multiple parts and storing in multiple computers. One file and multiple computers. Suppose Linux, maximum 65 GB data file generates, right? More than that, it fails. Suppose you want divert data, 200 GB data, getting a file with 200 GB data, then Linux fails or Windows fails, right? But Hadoop can handle because distributed data stores, one file storing in multiple computers. So you can on each computer, 5% right? 5% of total data. So 5% of 200 GB is 10 GB, 10 GB, 10 GB like that's it here. Okay, yes. Next, Hadoop takes care of backup. Yes, here is a concept of replication of factor three, right? Replication of factor three. That means for every data, it will maintain three copies. For every data, three copies. Suppose one copy loss, no issue. Two more copies are there. Yes, any one copy loss, no issue. Two more copies are available. Fine. Next, Hadoop takes care of recovery process. Hadoop takes care of recovery process, right? Yes, name node makes sure that always meeting the application policy. That means here, suppose on node one, yes, copy, first copy is copy one, right? Copy one. Yes, there are three copies. There are three copies here. Node one, first copy, node six, assume that. Just imagine that here. Yes, node one, first copy, node six, second copy, node 11, third copy, right? Suppose this node dead. This node is dead. Then name node giving instruction to the second copy node to create a replica, to create replica for the dead, dead data, right? So for that, it will, it will, yes, name node, it will choose one node. Name node will choose one node here, then giving, suppose choosing node 20. Name node choosing, yes, name node decides where to store that copy here. Name, suppose name node choosing 20. That's okay. Now name node, just give the, Instruction second copy you know, to create replica on the node 20. This is the depends on space availability here. Yes, here where to store. Yes, node one or node six, node level, where to store. Publish. Here there's a rack awareness concept is there. Rack awareness concept. Obviously, there's a rack awareness thread. Rack awareness thread will identify the location where to store your data. Three copies where to store your data. That replication strategy we'll discuss next. Where to store three copies, where to store first copy, second copy, third copy, three copies, three different locations. Okay, so where that is? Yes, we'll discuss next. In actual topic collection. After finishing map produce, you can understand this topic here. Yes, at this stage, you can't understand it. Okay, yes. Next, Hadoop is an open source framework. Okay, right? So these are the features of Hadoop here. Okay, right? Yes, one second. Yeah, open source. Framework next match is to this processing power. This is next. See computing power is the processing power here. Next faulty tolerance means already discussed. Recovery process. Faulty tolerance means recovery process. 
any node fail here, the data recovering automatically. There's nothing but fault tolerance. Okay. Yes, we'll discuss again. The topic will be repeating once again here. Yes, in actual topic, I'll explain what is exactly fault tolerance. Next, low cost. Yes, all I discussed, right? Yes, open source framework is a free of cost. You can download it here. Free of cost, you can use plus community hardware, right? Community hardware, free of cost. It's a free of cost available. Next, cheaper hardware. So it's a low cost, right? Next, scalable device, easiness here. Yes, you scalable device. You're just growing automatically without a scalability meaning extending functionality without affecting existing system. That's the meaning of scalability. Not only here, you go to anywhere. Scalability meaning, yes, any software, anywhere, scalability, English meaning, I'm explaining here. Scalability means extending functionality without, exist, without affecting existing functionality. That is called scalability. That English, English meaning, scalability, English meaning is scalability means extending functionality without affecting existing features. Yes, in order, scalability concept is available. That means scalability means without existing, without affecting existing setup, without changing existing setup, you can add the nodes. Continuously can add the nodes here, right? Without, without disturbing, without disturbing existing setup here, you can add the nodes. So initially, Cluster conflict with 100 computers. Initially, cluster com yes, conflict with 100 computers, right? Without disturbing that the existing system, you can extend it. 10 more nodes, 10 more nodes like this. That's it here. Okay. See, same thing. You can, you can easily grow your system simply by adding more nodes. Yes. With little bit administration. It's nothing much here. Scalability. That okay? Yes. Yes. Hadoop architecture. Yes, uh, internal architecture we'll discuss next, not now. After working with HDFS, first we'll start with setup here. Okay, setup in setup, first Linux you have to set up. After Linux setup here, next you have to set up some tools like Putty, Winner, CP. After finishing that, next you have to set up the Hadoop. First we'll start with 1.x version setup. First I'll start with 1.x version, so Hadoop 1.x version. Okay. Yes, just we'll work for one week and one dot expression. Just only for one week. Because you must have knowledge of one dot x also. Yes, here in one dot x there are some disadvantages. So once you work with one dot expression, you can understand disadvantages. Directly I can take the second version of Hadoop, no issue. Okay, for me, yes, uh, time, yes, sir. Uh, I can save time. One week time I can save. But to the question. This may not be understanding. Directly from taking the second version of Hadoop may not be understanding. First, I'll explain about one dot x version. First to one week working on one dot x version. So once you work on one dot x version here, you can understand what the disadvantage is. Simply here, directly I will go to second version. Okay, so before going to second version, simply I can explain. These are the disadvantages of one dot x version. So that for that reason, I'm using two, two dot x version, right? But if I explain practically, you can remember forever, you can explain interviews also. Yes, interviews, these are disadvantages, I will say, but practically you will ask why this one's a disadvantage. What's it? Can you explain reason? No, you can't explain. If you work to practically, you can explain reason here. So for that reason, I'm explaining first version of Hadoop. After finishing first version, means only one week explaining here. After we will go into second version of Hadoop here. So first we'll start with one dot x version. So so next session, how to set up Linux first, you have to set up Linux first, on top of Linux first, next you have to set up the 1.x version. Next, working with 1.x version for one week. After that, we go to second version of product here. In second version, actual work will be starting. It's complete your work in second version here, not in 1.x one, version. 1.x is only one week. Second week converts will go to second, second version. Migrating to second version simply. Okay, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Yes, next. Okay. Yes, architecture. After finishing setup, I'll explain about the 1.x version architecture. Next, second version architecture. After finishing second version of HDFS and second version of MapReduce, I'll explain that architecture. Yes, see, one second. Directly explaining architecture may not be understanding. If you are only working experience, then easy to understand. Generally, here, 
Yes, my strategy is reverse. Yes, generally any faculty they will explain first theory, then they will explain practicals. Suppose explain theory you can't understand it. Yet. So practically, if you see that, you can understand theory concepts. If you see that, if you see that practically everything here, you can understand theory here. Okay. Without working on it, if I explain, may not be, yes, 100 percent you can't understand. That is not correct. Yes, in my view, that is not correct here. If you have the practical experience here, you can understand what are the topics explained here. That architecture or whatever it is maybe here. If we have the practical experience, you can understand this here. Without practical, simply explaining theory, theory, no use. Okay, that is not my way. My way is reverse. Okay, yes, most of the trainers. Okay, yes, most of the trainers, they will focus on theory first. They will explain all the definitions. That is somewhat like a by hunting. Suppose explaining theory means somewhat like a by hunting. By hunting is not my way here. Experience. Okay, the thing is you have to convert into explain guy here. By the end of the course, you should be in a position to put up minimum five to six years of experience. Okay, practically everything you have to do practically. No theory. So for that reason, I'm taking more time. Yes, almost 75 days I'm taking. 75 days, minimum 75 days I'm taking. Daily one and a half hour class, 75 days. Okay. Next park and scale of 45 days. Totally 100 days course here. Okay. In market, most of the trainers in 45 days, they are finishing how to spark and scale, everything they are finishing. Even one more thing, class is only one hour class. Their class is one hour class. But I'm taking minimum one and a half hour, sometimes two and a half hours class also. Okay, suppose you, if I feel any topic is very big topic, the topic I'll take a Saturday and Sundays. Saturday, Sundays, I don't have office work, so I'll be free here. Saturday, Sundays, yes, you, can, you have to face two and a half hours class. Saturday class, Sunday class, two and a half hours, you have to face it. You have to, yes, you have to work for two and a half hours. You have to stay for two and a half hours in our main my classes. Saturday, Sunday, yes. The rest of the days, weekdays is only one and a half hour class, not more than that, only one and a half hour class. Okay, yes. So everything is practical experience, not theory. Nowhere theory concepts, all are practically here. After explaining practically, then I'll convert into theory here so that you can understand very clearly. That okay? Yes. See here, one second. This is my mistake in the document here. So see this, what are the rules in Hadoop here? Hadoop roles. Yes, there are Hadoop features. Okay. Fine. All the Hadoop features. Okay, till now. What we discussed till now here. Till now we discussed about. Yes, what is big data discussed? The definition discussed here. Yes, data volume. That we discussed here. Next, for different data sources. All the data sources of data here discussed here. Okay, next. Big data challenges. These points discussed, okay, with uh, high level, with with the uh, high end, sorry, not high end, with the uh, high level architecture we discussed. So this is with, uh, yeah, this is uh, high level architecture. This high level, okay, this high level architecture. Name notes, name notes, and sleeve, yes, master and sleeve. High level architecture. After setup, yes, we go for internal architecture, low level. Okay, point to point, low level, micro level, we'll discuss the architectures. Okay, this high level, completely high level expansion. So once setup finished here, we'll go to low level, yes, point to point, micro levels, we'll discuss. Okay, yes. So next, step. yes, yeah, these points cleared here, yes, station approach. Traditional system, yes, one application, one database. Google, means how do, yes, name notes, or these all are slave notes, name notes and slave notes. Okay, yes, create topic, features, all the features here. Next, what are roles in how do? Yes, what is your role? Yes, our course is developer role. Our course completely developer role. Apart from this, 50% of admin concepts also, as I'm explaining here, 50% of administration I'm covering here, like how to set up, cluster setup, yes, single node setup, cluster setup. 
those topics. Admin topics also I'll be explaining here. Next, Hadoop setup. Next request is actually Hadoop admin take care of Hadoop setup and ecosystem setups. Suppose you're working for some company on your system. Yes, on your computer here, on your computer, Hadoop admin will set up everything. You have to work, that's it. That is what is happening in real time projects here. In companies here, Hadoop admin, he will set up everything on your systems, developer systems, right? Developers, you have to work. Developers, you have to work. But in our course, including setups, I will explain it here. I'm explaining how to set up, how you set up, next peak setup, group setup, all these setups I will explain it here, including setups. Okay, so you must have that knowledge. If you have that knowledge, setups not then easy to understand it. Okay, otherwise, simply I can explain an Amazon EMR, right? Yes, I can go to cloud in our there, there I'll create EMR instance here. Then, yes, you can practice on that instance, right? So that is not correct. You have to set up on your own. How you have to set up on your own? Now here roles. What are the roles in Hadoop here? We have developer role, admin role, analyst role. Now here, developer role. Yes, as a developer here, yes. But developer role, what are the requirements here? Java. Java required or Python or Ruby here. These things. Ruby, no one using here. Rare case. So maximum get Java, Python, these things required here. Java, Python get. Next, Hadoop ecosystems knowledge. What is the purpose of Java and Python? This is for the MapReduce. MapReduce developing in. Yes, MapReduce part. MapReduce part Java or Python requires. Okay. Next, Hadoop ecosystems. Ecosystems like Hive. Next, Pig. Next, Spook. Next, HBH. Flume. That ecosystem knowledge. Next, NoSQL database. At least one NoSQL database. Like HBH or Cassandra. Yes, now mostly using Cassandra nowadays. Yes, mostly using Cassandra next one more MongoDB. Cassandra and MongoDB. Okay. Yes, here Cassandra in the Spark and Scala batch. I'm, I'm explaining Cassandra also. There I'm explaining Cassandra. Not in Hadoop here. Because already Hadoop taking 75 days. Suppose if I'm adding Cassandra and other things also, it becomes very big one. That Hadoop works itself. Okay, in Spark and Scala, I'm taking this. Is. Okay. In Spark and Scala, Cassandra, Next, Kafka, and other models. Some more models in Spark and Scala covering. Now here, Spark. So this is developer role. These things are required. These things are required. Okay. Yeah, EMR in Spark. Spark also on EMR instance, you can set up. Okay. Yes. Next. So this is Hadoop role for Hadoop developers here. This much of things are required. Okay. Next apartment, very Linux. Linux is not mentioned. Linux also requires. Nowadays, Linux is mandatory for everyone. Every software engineer, Linux is mandatory. Without Linux, you can't work in software field nowadays. For everyone, it has become mandatory here. Okay. Yes, Linux is mandatory skills for every software engineer. Maybe tester. Yes, except a .NET developer for all software engineers, Linux is mandatory. Because .NET is Windows based, Linux is not necessary for that. Okay, except .NET developer, almost .NET outdated. No one is in the markets. No .NET applications in markets. Yes, every all .NET applications are migrated to Java. Okay, yes. So for this, yes, Linux has required. Apart from this, Linux playing major role in Hadoop. If you good at Linux, then easy to understand Hadoop here. Hadoop. Comments almost similar to Linux comments. If you know the Linux, then easy to understand how to care. Okay. Yes. If time is available here, you can learn Linux also. Okay, I will guide you how to learn Linux. Yes. If time is permitting for you, try to learn Linux also. I will guide you how to yes, learn Linux. Yes. Next, how do admins? For how do admins, first point, Linux admin is mandatory. Yes, for you developers, Linux. Yes, 100% Linux not required here. Yet this 50% of Linux is enough to understand the Hadoop concepts. Okay, Linux admin, yes, yes, sorry, Hadoop admin. For Hadoop admin purpose, Linux admin is mandatory here. Next, Hadoop cluster management and performance tuning here. Next, virtualization, all these concepts you must have this. Yes, if you are working as admin, if you are working as admin here, Linux administration, next cluster management knowledge here. Cluster performance tuning techniques here. 
next virtualization these this knowledge required for the hadoop administrator adding hadoop admin role okay yes whoops concept is enough such is just one whoops is enough i'll guide you how to learn it okay yes sir i'll guide you don't worry yes here to start to map produce three more weeks is there time three more weeks time is available yes you have the three weeks by the time of the three weeks yet try to learn that yes score java whoops can the whoops is enough just try to learn whoops yet in the tools focus on strings just you focus on strings then easy to understand it's not an issue okay right? yes next three more weeks are there to reach to map produce to reach to map three more three more weeks are there yet yes i can guide you how to learn that java okay yes here some websites available yes you can go to websites or else even my videos available you can watch my videos also okay yes i can guide you yes next data analyst role okay data analyst role here yes in order there is a one more role is data analyst for data analyst starter six knowledge required starter six plus r knowledge required what's the purpose of r r language visualization purpose like this charts visualization purpose for visual visualization purpose here r knowledge required data analyst area data science knowledge data science what is data science is nothing but just how the data is behaving data behavior they should understand the data data science is nothing but just understanding see science means what science is nothing but how that behavior okay this for every everywhere we can apply the science right yes on your body you can apply some science right on your body science means what's the behavior of your body yes in science yes with science you can you have to understand your body behavior yes understanding your body behavior is nothing but the science applying science on your body okay today suppose i don't have to sleep what is my behavior what tomorrow my body behavior my brain behavior behavior suppose some so food food changing time time in food okay what is my body behavior uh, understand that is nothing but science what is data science understanding your data is a nothing but data science simple meaning what is data science means understanding your data okay suppose in a company there is internal data and external data okay you have to understand what is external data for the company what is internal data internal data means like employees and all that information right is nothing but internal data company internally generating some data that you have to understand external data is nothing but company business with customers and all this right that internal data external data you understand right that is data analyst tool here okay yes uh, one second the tool is called as bia yes business intelligence analyst business intelligence analyst that uh, ba that 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 guy name is called as ba here ba that that position the designation is ba business intelligence yes analyst business intelligence analyst ba role ba analyst role that the analyst that analyst must have that analyst must have statistics okay statistics right standard sticks means uh, like uh, graphs like that like uh, bar bar charts pie charts and all these are charts and the statistics here right next expertise in r language what is purpose of r language purpose of r language visualization purpose using r we can visualize the data visualization means we can see what is data okay like uh, like in the form of pie charts bar chart that is visualization concept here we can visualize the data see data visualization in the form of charts for this r knowledge required okay data science means data behavior you should understanding that is nothing but data science science means just understand science meaning understanding okay understand that right? okay there is a meaning of science okay yes now here next hadoop essentials yes minimum knowledge of hadoop required yes data analyst okay sometimes yes you have to work on hadoop also so for that minimum hadoop knowledge required here not much expert here at least hadoop minimum knowledge required for this 
okay yes next is sometimes here not not only are here some tools like the reporting tools knowledge like the yes click view tab view that knowledge also click view tab view knowledge okay they must have reporting tools knowledge here like click view tab view talent okay like this various things are there yes they must have the reporting so at least one reporting yes that reporting tools knowledge at least one tool knowledge maybe tably tably very easy compared to anyone here tably very easy easy to work next tably performance is more tably giving more performance because of in memory concept tably following in memory concept that gives a more performance okay so the data analyst must have this skills correct now depends on your interest you have to choose your role your role so which is a suitable role for me that you have to decide okay yes if you do that linux administration you can choose linux hadoop admin yes hadoop admin many positions are available suppose if you do in coding skills you can go for hadoop administration suppose you have the coding skills then you can go for developer because that prior developer getting more pay compared to admin more pay should be there here next in future you can change the field also if you want but admin you can't change this field you have to stick to hadoop admin only here in future yes if you are working in this area you can feature if you want some data science area you can move to data science also that scope is there for developers there is a scope for developers there is a scope to change their fields so you can updating skills and changing field right but admins no scope yeah they have to stick to that administration only here right okay yes so generally you are choosing career java and related things is very good always Since 20 years, I'm working on the same area. Yes, everything is coming Java, Java, Java related. All the tools, what are tools coming in the market here? All the tools are Java related tools. Okay, so since 20 years, I'm working on Java only here. So because of the Java, so every tool is coming Java only here, right? So if this this area, so yes, our course is this. Our course is this here. Okay. This Spark and Scala don't expect in this course that is different course. It's a 45 days Spark and Scala. Okay, this is for 60 to 70 days. So maximum I'll try to finish in 60 days. If extending only 10 days extending, not more than that here. Okay. Yes, at the middle of the Hadoop we can start in Spark, uh, Spark and Scala. Tablet we can start, no problem. After finishing 45 days of Hadoop, we can start Spark and Scala. Okay. So by the finishing Hadoop, maximum can finish Spark and Scala also. Yes, if it's starting at the middle of the Hadoop, okay. Yeah, that depends on your batch. We'll discuss. Okay, right. Next, Arctic. Yeah, this is my role. Yes, in our company, my role is Hadoop Arctic. Hadoop Arctic master all this knowledge. The developer, development area, data analysis area, admin area, and testing area. You must have all this area knowledge here. Otherwise, you cannot. Arctic, maybe Hadoop Arctic, maybe Java Arctic, any area here. They must have almost yes, all the skills. In market, many skills. Okay, yes, I have many skills. Okay, but expert in Hadoop area. Right? Okay. Yes, that Arctic must have the many skills. R and D always. Arctic have to be say headache is not easy that job. Okay, lot of challenges in Arctic world. Lot of challenges. Suppose in your team, any any guy facing issue that Arctic has to solve it. Yes, in our team, yes, any senior guy or doing anyone facing issue here, then that Arctic has to solve it. This is challenging job. It's not easy job. Very challenging job. This is okay. Yes, but at the same time, advantage is that depends on you. That is. Yes, yes, playing Arctic role is very good one. Actually, here yeah, very interesting because various knowledge will get it here. Various knowledge, that working experience and various knowledge. Yes, yeah, very interesting job. Actually, for me it's very interesting because I'm very interested in software field. Okay. Yes, here. Yes, always I'll be the first person in my company to learn new technology. Okay. I'll be the first person in my company to learn new technology always. Okay, I'm ready immediately here. Okay, yes, any technology coming here, just I'll learn within short time. I can, yes, I can start work. Okay, yes. 
Yes, you also should be like that. Yes, you should be the first person to learn any new things in your company here. Okay, that priority will be there always. Yes, if you are you having such kind of skills here, definitely there's a priority. Okay. Yes, my role is actually here, Adobe Arctic here, Adobe and Java Arctic, but in my company, my position is equal to director. My company director uh, will give a priority like that. Okay, yes. Of course, so my company directors are my friends. So my classmate is one of the director, my classmates. Okay, yes. Yes, next, uh, how do different data sources? How do can be small data or big data, anyone? For how do it can be data source, can be big data? Or small data. Suppose if data only small data. Yes, like uh, like uh, Oracle database server, maybe MySQL database server. That servers only small data can handle. Big data can handle cannot handle here. Hadoop can handle big data and small data. But with small data, some disadvantage in Hadoop here. Lots of small file generating here. Okay, there is some disadvantage with this. Hadoop. Yes, Hadoop can work on small data files also, no problem, but little bit some disadvantage. The disadvantage when you're working on Hadoop, you can see that. Yes, after finishing HDFS working here, I'll explain. What are the disadvantage of Hadoop here? Hadoop disadvantage, now you can't understand here. After finishing one Redux version of Hadoop, after finishing one week work here, I'll explain about what are the disadvantages in Hadoop here. That time we'll discuss. Okay, thanks. Yeah, this is a see. This is a life cycle of some company, some business. Okay, like uh, different modules, like supply chain management. Yes, next HR, next finance, like this. A different kind of things here. This is company life cycle, business life cycle. Yeah, this is uh, yes. Uh, I'm working for the one of the clients, D World ATM machines. Man, actually, I was the employee of that company. Later changes to current company. Okay, so current company Cybertech Private Limited. The later change is coming previous like to D World. Yes, D World that come, which a big it's a version of D World. Very big come where they have three data centers. Three data centers. Yes, each data center more than 15,000 computers they are maintaining here. So totally around 40, 40, 50,000 computers are there totally here. Very big data center. They have three data centers. Okay. Yes, yes ATM machines. Yes, more than 165 countries, they have the business ATM machines. Everywhere you see ATM machines, right? ATM machines. See, in my street, Amir Pech. Yes, Hyderabad, Amir Pech. Okay, in, in Amir Pech, I'm staying. In my street, around 15 ATMs are there. Yes, very, uh, of course, it's a business area, Amir Pech, in Hyderabad. So, 15 ATMs, just, in, just nearby that. Near to me, just 15 ATMs. Like this, in total Hyderabad, how many here? Yes, many ATMs, around 10,000 ATMs. Okay, like Hyderabad, how many cities? How many villages worldwide? Worldwide, see the worldwide. Okay, miss lot of business. Yes, D world ATM, just next, next time you see, when you go to ATM machines, see that. D world ATM, everywhere D world, D world and NCR. NCR and D world. Yes, NCR is a competitor for us. NCR is another, another one. It's a competitor for us. Yes, wherever you see, wherever you go, you will see D World and NCR machines here. Yes, millions of these ATM machines. Okay, lakhs of ATM machines worldwide. So many number of banks. Many, many banks, right? Like in our yes, in our India here, ICIC is the main customer for the ICIC next year, State Bank also. State Bank also main customer for the D World. State Bank is yes, next to yeah, this is ICAC. So they are main customers. Next, Axis Bank, like this. Many, many banks are there. Workers worldwide, many banks in every country. Yes, D world customers are there. Yes, 196 countries, right? 196 countries. Okay, D world reach to almost every country. D world reach to every country here. Everywhere they have the business. See here. That much of countries having businesses, you can imagine how much business they are doing. Okay, that is the default standards. Okay, so for that company here, no sell. Manufacturing default is a manufacturing industry. They are manufacturing. 
ATM manufacture not service provider. ATM machines manufacture. They are doing manufacturing. Okay, they are doing. They are they are manufacturing machines and selling in the market. Okay, yes, not lease. We are selling, not lease. Lease means they they will lose rights. Not lease. Yes, simply selling to selling to the banks. Okay, yes, selling and providing service. Okay. Yeah, D word service center in Hyderabad service center is there. D word service center. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, nearby my house only is there. Yes, that Hoda Maitri one. Nearby Hoda Maitri one, my house. Just next to my street. D word service center is there. Okay, they are providing service for this ATM machines. Okay. Yes. D word software office is a. Uh, yes, main space. Yes, sir. Uh, Near main space, there is Vyas Chandra IT Park is there. Yes, main space. We have beside that is there. Okay. Yes, uh, Vega block. Yes, <laughs> Vega block is a very big block. There is there. Okay. We have this life cycle of business here. We are right from the purchase, purchasing, stores, raw material, manufacturing, production, quality control. Yes, cost estimating cost of item. Next assembling finished goods or semi finished goods. Suppose any customer orders, then delivery, shipping to customer location, marketing and sales involving customer interact with customers here. See here purchase, store, raw material, finished goods, manufacturing, production, quality control, costing, assembling. Yes, up to this is all this comes in SEM supply chain management. It says supply chain management. Okay. Yes. Our first project is this SEM data. How do we handle SEM data to store SEM data in SEM various modules? All the modules. Yes, in SEM different this different departments. All the department data analysis. That is my first project. Very good project and huge amount of data. But first project we have developed in one dot expression. Now same project is now migrating to yes Spark. We are migrating to Spark and Spark area because uh, is lot of data generating this area. Yes, high speed requires. So for this purpose, we are converting this part. Okay. Now this is currently here. We are doing that. Uh, yes, uh, we are. Yes, we are doing R and D and the, all the documents, data documents taken and all these project document taken here. We are doing here. Yes, uh, Spark setups and all these things we are doing on this. Okay, project not just started here. We are doing setup everything now currently. Okay, yes. Next, yes, uh, like uh, these are HR module. Next, these were assets. See, my first project was uh, SCM. Second project, human resources module. Many company, many employees are across the world wide. Okay, human resources module on that second project. Okay, next third project is accounting area, finance module. Yeah, there is a finance model. Yes, yes. See this in ERP. Default using Oracle ERP actually. Default they are using Oracle ERP. In Oracle ERP they say Oracle ERP SCM module generating SCM data. Next HR module that is generating data here. Next finance module generating data. So SCM module first project, second project human resources. Third one is finance module here. Third one. Fourth one is assets. D world company is having many number of assets across worldwide. Their assets module. Okay, this four projects completed. Now fifth project is just we are working on Spark. Yes, this is we are converting, migrating to Spark. Okay, yes. So that's all about these things, correct? Right? So this is this introduction. Okay, next three weeks of data not now. Time is there for this. Later we'll see. After finishing one dot X version, I will explain about three weeks of data. At this stage, we have a little bit confusion here. Okay, once you see that data, you can understand. Once you see that data here, yes, once you see the CSC file data, Excel file data, next day, XML file data, once you see that data, you can understand this one here. Okay, here already told you my way is reverse. First, I'll explain practicals next theory. Okay, suppose here now, at this stage, suppose if I'm talking about XML data may not be understanding it. Right? Suppose if you work on XML data, JSON data, you can understand here. Okay, semi structured data, XML and JSON data. XML, JSON data here. 
suppose at this stage, if I'm talking about JSON data, yes, how can you understand? We can't, you don't know about JSON. How can you understand? We can't understand it. XML, suppose you, if you know XML, fine and good. So without knowing about XML data, if I'm talking about XML data, what is the use? There's somewhat like a by hunting, right? Suppose if you if you work with if already if you work with an XML data and JSON data, you can understand. That's the reason I'm not going to explain that. That is not my strategy. My strategy always reverse. Generally, here any trainer they will explain all these theory concepts. Then they will go to practical here. That is not correct. In my view, that is not correct here. You can't understand it. Okay. Next, what is structured data, semi-structured, unstructured? This topic is later, not now. Not now. Next, what is VLAP, VLDP? This also, I'm holding this topic. Wait, once you see the practical experience, you can understand all the topics here. Okay, right? So this is history. Just you can go to the documents. Okay, doc cutting has yes, started development here. Doc cutting. Okay. Yes, why you named as Hadoop? Yes, Hadoop. It's a, yes, is is a son's toy, elephant toy. Yes, the son, he was playing with some. Elephant toy. That elephant toy name, name is Hadu. Same name given for this. That's it. Here. Nothing is in that name here. Why name as Hadu? Reason Hadu. You will see some elephant, right? Elephant. Yes, elephant is a big one. Very big one, right? Yes, it can it can do big things, right? Okay. Yes, sir. So based on that thinking only here, he has named as Hadu here. That Hadu, it's a name of his son's toy. Yes, he was, his son was playing dog cutting. Yes, his son his son was playing with the yes, elephant, elephant toy. That elephant toy name is Hadoop. Same name given to his project, that's it here. Okay, next history started 2000. Yes, initially, initially 2004, initially 2004, 2004. Yes, first Google has started working on big table. In 2004, first Google started working on big table. Same big table converted into Hadoop. That is to just go through that history here. Okay, these are all our minor things. You can go through that. Next, what the distributions of Hadoop? Already we discussed it. Distributions, because of open source, many distributions. Cloudera, Hortonworks, Mapa, Amazon EMR, okay, right? Yes, they are top most in the market. Okay, next, later, Google Hadoop, IBM Hadoop here. Next, Microsoft Hadoop here, Dell Hadoop, VMware Hadoop, EMC Square. One more thing, why EMC Square Hadoop here? So, they are different Hadoops. Okay, next. Yes. Here, that's all. Next, you have to work on start on Hadoop distributed file system. Get this topic. Yes, once setup is done, we can start working on this. So, first of all, you have to set up Linux base. Half Linux setup, next Hadoop setup. Then, we start working on Hadoop here. So first working with HDFS. Okay, so once setup is done here, you can start with working with HDFS. Okay, so this topic next class. Okay. Yeah, I'll share. Yes, no issue. I'll share everything here. Okay, documents I'll share it. No problem. Documents, videos, next daily topics also I'll be sharing. Okay, for you guys, group is there. In WhatsApp group, I'll share it. Okay. Yes, already video shared. This document I have to share it. Today I'll share it. Already videos were shared here. Document, this document, today I'll share it. Okay. Yesterday not shared because I should give the overview of this document. Okay. That's the reason not shared. Today I'll share it. Okay, right? Yes, anything doubts? Yes, uh, next class on Monday. Okay, this Saturday not taking class here. Next Saturday will be taking class because Saturday, Sunday, I have some weekend batches here. Okay, then your batches will be finishing by next week here. So, next Saturday, I will be taking class for you. This Saturday, don't have the class. So, next class on Monday. Yes, what is Monday topic? Monday starting with Linux base. First, how to set up Linux base. Next, how to set up tools and all these things we will discuss. After that, one data expression set up, then what? So from Monday onwards, actual Hadoop for working starts. Till now, what we discussed, all over you discussed. Complete over you even. From Monday onwards, we are going to work on Hadoop. Seriously, you have to work practically. Everyday practice is very, very important. Right? Yes, any doubts? Yes. 
you see any doubts yes you guys just you feel like a friend okay you can ask any doubt no problem any time okay happily you can just like a colleague just you can you can you can work like a colleague here okay don't like a some professor or somebody like that here yes i will like a, your friend okay see every batch students they will become friends almost so once started yes 10 days over they will become friends yes my behavior will be like that here okay any doubts patiently i will explain lot of patience okay many doubts they are asking many doubts any doubts like a, their friends or like their brother like your brother i'll explain everything here okay the thing is you have to utilize me that's it that utilize means important okay but, but the thing is from you guys my expectation is working you have to work every day my expectation is from you guys my expectation is every day you have to work it here if you working every day how do becomes very easy how do be very dead easy here how do is not difficult many are saying that how do different no in my view i how do is very easy dead easy easy to work with this okay but the thing is if you working every day how do becomes easy here if not working it becomes very complicated the guy who are not working every day how do 100% say very difficult to understand but if you working every day it becomes very easy easy to understand here how do is very easy don't feel how do is tough it's very easy okay i'll make you like that yes you will feel like that i'll make it to feel like that right okay yes any doubts if no doubts we'll continue on monday right Yes, I'll share this document today. I'll share this document. Okay, by lunch time, I'll share the documents. Right. So let us wind up. So thank you guys. See you on Monday. One second. One minute. One minute. Monday starting a little bit early. Nine thirty class session. Starting at nine thirty. Reason was. Uh, from monday or yes if since last two days uh, some office call is going in half an hour office call is going on here yes at 11 o'clock some office call is going on here so for that reason yes uh, just half an hour early i am starting 9:30 to 11 o'clock 9:30 to 11 this is your fixed time no change yes from monday 9:30 starting your session 9:30 to 11 a.m. So starting with Linux. So 9:30. So please try to remember. Yes, of course, I'll remind you in WhatsApp group. In group, I'll remind you. Right? Yes. One second.